What's going on YouTube? Come back at you with another video. A lot of people out there wondering, I'm sure, what life is going to be like for 6 9 when he gets released. If he gets released, which I'm assuming he will, probably sooner rather than later. I would not be surprised at all. And this is not normal either, so don't think this is the norm. But I would not be surprised at all if when everyone else gets sentenced or pleads out on this case, the 6 9 gets time served and is released. I, that, there's no doubt in my mind that he's going to be, um, you know, given special treatment. But I would not be surprised at all if he gets released. So when he gets released... He's going to be in the federal witness protection program more than likely. Obviously, um, people out there feel like he snitched. I'm assuming his life now is in danger for the rest of his life. This is how it works for people who snitch, especially when you're dealing with organizations and you are solely or partially responsible for getting people um, sent away, you know, away from their families, whatever um, the case is. People at that point are you become a target like that's just what it is. You become and you stay a target until somebody finally gets you. So let's look at what WITSEC is the witness protection program. Right. So I'm going to read this to you. It says the United States Federal Witness Protection Program, also known as Witness Security Program or WITSEC is a witness protection program administered by the United States Department of Justice and operated by the United States Marshal Service that is designed to protect threatened witnesses before, during, and after trial. Let's look at the history, it says, and not all this information is gonna be current or accurate. We are reading from um, Wikipedia. I'm also gonna show you the Department of Justice, what they have to say about WITSEC on their website. But let's look at this first. It says the witness uh, the WITSEC program was formally established under Title V of the Organized Crime Control Act of 1970, which in turn sets out the manner in which the United States Attorney General may provide for the relocation and protection of a witness or potential witnesses of the federal or state government in an official proceeding concerning organized crime or other serious offenses. The federal government also gives grants to the state to enable them to provide similar services. It says, WITSEC was originally created as the Federal Witness Protection Program um, in the mid-1960s by Gerald Scher, who, or when he was attorney in charge of Intelligence and Special Services Unit of the Organized Crime and Racketeering Section of the United States Department of Justice. Most witnesses are protected by the United States Marshal Service, while protection of incarcerated witnesses is the duty of the Federal Bureau of Prisons, which is um, interesting, too, because 6ix9ine, if you look at his actual name on the inmate locator, it's not there. It says he's been released. So this is all a part of the whole WITSEC uh, witness protection program and why he is not on there. You can't find him. Former decorated federal law enforcement officer John Thomas Ambrose was convicted of leaking information about a federal witness in the witness protection program. Chicago outfit hitman Nicholas Calabrese to other members of Chicago organized crime. It says, as of 2013, 8,500 witnesses and 9,900 family members have been protected by the United States Marshal Service since 1971, so it's obviously probably much higher than that at now that we're in 2019. According to Gerald Scher, the person who created the federal program, about 95% of witnesses in the program are criminals. They may be intentional criminals or people who are doing business with criminals, such as one engineer who bought off a, uh, bought off a mayor because that's how you do business in the city. In his mind, he wasn't doing anything criminal, as Scher said. A witness who agrees to testify for the prosecution is ge generally eligible to join the program, which is entirely voluntary. Witnesses are permitted to leave the program and return to their original identities at any time, although this is always discouraged by administrators. I mean, what, what does that mean for 6 9 I don't know. What are they going to do about his, his identity anyway? It's going to be interesting to see 
whether or not he comes back and tries to maintain some type of career or if he just completely disappears falls off the map and um is no longer obviously six nine with all the tattoos and whatnot he's going to be difficult to um you know change the way he looks but this is what the WITSEC program this is what witness protection does definitely be interesting to see how they deal with him as as a superstar that he is and you know what the plan is for him we'll see soon enough uh in both criminal and civil matters involving protecting protected witnesses the u.s marshals cooperate fully with local law enforcement and court authorities to bring witnesses to justice or to have them fulfill their legal responsibility it says recidivism um, it says less than 17% of protected witnesses who have committed a crime will be caught committing another crime compared to almost 41% of parolees in return. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's look at the United States Marshal Service and we'll see what it says on their website about witness protection. The U.S. Marshal Service provide for the security, health, and safety of government witnesses, their immediate dependents, whose lives are in danger as a result of their testimony against drug traffickers, terrorists, organized crime members, and other major criminals. The Witness Security Program was authorized by the Organized Crime Control Act of 1970 and amended the Comprehensive Crime Control Act of 1984. The, U the U.S. Marshals have protected, relocated, and given identities to more than 8,600 witnesses and 9,900 of their family members since the program began in 1971. So this is the same um, piece that they have up on Wikipedia. So basically, this is all there is to it. Um, again, I, some of the questions that I have moving forward, what's going to happen with 6 ix career? Is he going to continue trying to maintain any type of career? Or is he going to completely just go off the, the map? Definitely be interesting to see. Um, we'll probably have to wait until everybody else is sentenced to for six nine to get sentenced, and then at that point, you know, we'll see what happens. But interesting. Just wanted to bring you guys some info as far as witness protection is concerned. Let me know what you think about this. I appreciate you. Hit the like, subscribe, share, all that. Let me know what you guys say in the comments. Peace.